the importance of Muharram and fasting on the day of Ashura. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, oil number four, hadith number 3197, that our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the year is 12 months and of them four are sacred three are in consecutive numbers that is dhul qaida dhul and Muharram, and the fourth is rajab a similar message is given by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the glorious quran in surah tawbah chapter number nine verse number 36 where allah says that the number of months in the sight of Allah are 12 in a year. So he ordained the creation of the heaven and the earth. And from them, four are sacred. And, but naturally, these four sacred months are mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, as I mentioned earlier. That is Dhul Qaeda, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram, and Rajab. So, do not do wrongdoings in them. Here Allah is saying in Surah Tawbah chapter 9 verse number 36 that in these four sacred months do not do any wrongdoings. That means if a person does any sin, the sins are more graver in these four sacred months. They are more heavier in these four sacred months. And the good deeds that you do, they will be more rewarding. So the Muslims should see to it that during the four sacred months they should be more careful. They should abstain from all the sins, especially the major sins, as well as almost all the minor sins too. And we should do as many good deeds as possible. Time will not permit me to repeat all the good deeds. And I had done that earlier when I spoke about the virtues of Dulija. I had mentioned 45 good deeds, the Farais, the Mustahab, the other Sunnas, etc. It is further mentioned in Sahih Muslim. Oil number three, hadith number 2755, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the most important fast after the fast of Ramadan is in the month of Allah in Muharram, referring to the day of Ashura. And the most important salah after the first salah is the night prayers, that is the Qayyamul Layl, Tahajjud and the Witr. It's further mentioned in Sahih Muslim, one number three, hadith number 2746, our beloved Prophet said that fasting on the day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, I will pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he forgive the sins of the previous year. That means if a person fasts on the 10th of Muharram, on the day of Ashura, all your sins of the previous year will be washed away. But natural, these sins are referring to the minor sins, not counting the major sins. That means the most important fast after the further fast of Ramadan is the fasting of Ashura. But scholars differ, Fokahas. Most of the Fokahas say that the most important fast is the fasting on the day of Arafah because on the day of Arafah besides the sins of the previous year being washed away even the sins of the future one year is washed away that means if you fast on the day of Arafah two years of sins are washed away the previous year and the following that is the next year if you fast on the day of Ashura only one year that the previous year's sins are washed away Therefore, Fuqa has deferred. Most of them say the most important fast is Arafah. Few say the most important fast is fasting on the day of Ashura. But unanimously all agree that these two fasts, fasting on the day of Arafah and fasting on the day of Ashura, are the most two important fasts after the further fast of Ramadan. It is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 5, hadith number 3943, that Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu, May Allah be pleased with him. He narrates 
that when the prophet reached Medina, he found that the Jews were fasting on the 10th of Muharram. And he asked them that why do you fast during this day? They said, this day Allah gave victory to Moses and the people of Bani Israel over Pharaoh. So the prophet replied that we Muslims are more closer to Musa salam than the Jews. And he ordered the Muslims to fast on Ashura, the 10th of Muharram. It further mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 3, hadith number 2006, that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, he narrates that he never found the Prophet wanting to fast on any day more than the day of Ashura and this month that is the month of Ramadan it is further mentioned in Sunan Abu Daud volume number 3 hadith number 2445 that the prophet peace be upon him the people approached him and they told him that the Jews and the Christians they fast on the 10th of Muharram on the day of Ashura. So the Prophet said next year we will also fast on the 9th of Muharram. It's mentioned in Mustad Ahmad volume number 2 hadith number 2154 that the Prophet said do the opposite of what the Jews and the Christians do. Besides fasting on the 10th of Muharram also fast on the 9th or the 11th of Muharram. Because of this, when you read the Shara of Sayyid Bukhari, Hafiz Ibn Hajar Asqalani, he says that fasting of Ashura is of three levels. The lowest is fasting on the 10th of Muharram, the day of Ashura. The second is fasting on the 9th and the 10th of Muharram and the highest is fasting on 9th, 10th and 11th of Muharram. That means we Muslims, we learn from all the hadiths that Muharram is the month of Allah. It's one of the four sacred months. In this sacred month we should do good deeds, abstain from doing bad deeds and the best is that we fast on all three days the 9th, the 10th and the 11th of Muharram. That is the best. If you cannot fast for 3 days, at least fast for 2 days. 9th and 10th of Muharram or 10th and 11th of Muharram. If you cannot fast for 2 days and you can only do for 1 day, then the least of the least you can do is fast at least on the 10th of Muharram on the day of Ashura. This was the short message on the importance of Muharram and fasting on the day of Ashura.